Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep video. The first thing I'm going to start off with is going to be a lunch that I'll have uh, twice this week. So I'm going to make two of these teriyaki rice bowls. You guys know I've made versions of these many times and I had forgotten about it and was reminded when I was over on Instagram the other day and there's somebody I follow. I believe her name is WW Diana. Um, I will try to remember to link her down below. Remind me if I forget. Um, but she had a similar one posted and it reminded me it's like I have not had that in a long time so anyway here is everything that's going to go in this one I do change it up a little bit so this is what I'm going to put in this one so I have some of the broccoli coleslaw this is just the Safeway brand some grilled chicken tenders here um, out of this little thing I think I'm going to do some yellow and red pepper and maybe a little bit of red onion just dice that up really finely we need some pineapple tidbits which this is in pineapple juice i will drain off the juice and rinse those off so there'll be zero points we have some brown minute rice i'm going to use a half of a cup dry which will make one cup cooked which is a serving for five points and then your sauce is going to really depend on you so g hughes has a few different sauces that are good for this i've used the thai chili wing sauce for this um, they have a matte mango habanero, which I've never been able to find in my area. That would be good with this. They have a regular teriyaki sauce and then this sesame teriyaki. So I already had this one open in my refrigerator, so I'm going to use this up for a couple of my lunch recipes this week. So this is which one we're using. There's also a stir fry sauce that would probably be okay. It's a little bit thicker. Um, I think that the stir fry is better for stir fry. I think the teriyaki works really well with this one, um, so I'm sure the sesame teriyaki will be just as good. Um, I did really enjoy that one. It's the first time I tried it the other day. So let's go ahead and put this bowl together. Since I plan on heating this up before I eat it, I'm not going to heat up this teriyaki sauce because there's just no point. But normally I would heat this up before I put this all together if I was eating it for like dinner. Um, and this is zero points. The only thing we have to even um, count points for is the rice, which will be five points for um, one serving. So I'm just going to throw everything into this bowl and just toss it all together. And then I'll just put some of the teriyaki sauce in there after I get all of this in there and toss it. And then we will separate it out into our containers. And to make this lower carb, you could use cauliflower rice. Um, that would actually make it lower points too. Actually, it should be zero points if you use cauliflower rice. Sometimes I use a mixture of cauliflower rice mixed with the brown rice and then it cuts the points in half and the carbs in half. But since everything else in this is, you know, gonna be zero points, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with the brown rice this time. I'm still having a little bit of issue with cauliflower rice. Ever since that batch that I had, if you guys remember about a month ago or so, I had got some really bad cauliflower rice and honestly like every time I see it now in my freezer I just get a little I don't have any of the same batch um, that same brand or anything but which was the Walmart brand which I don't know if I could get myself to buy that for a while but I have some other ones in there but I'm just right now yeah I just can't do it right now so maybe if it was mixed with other things but yeah I know I should be probably measuring this, but you can honestly have like up to like four tablespoons for zero points. So since this is going to be spread between, you know, two different um, servings, then I'm not too worried about it. And look, look how much you get. This is a really high volume. And like I said, it's, you're just actually having just one serving of rice. So it's really um, high volume. Lots of veggies, lots of protein from the chicken. So, yeah. And sometimes I end up adding more after I heat this up and taste it. Sometimes I end up adding a little bit more of the sauce, but I just like to start with a little bit um, and go from there. So, you could put the entire bro broccoli slab, but I'm actually going to use the rest of this for the next recipe I'm going to show you. So, we're just going to go for this right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and just separate it out into these two containers and then this part of lunch will be done. And here you go. So I will put points, calories, and protein on the screen. For reference, I did use four ounces of chicken for each one. So I used a total of eight ounces of chicken. Um, it was cooked chicken. I didn't wait until after 
it was already cooked. So, um, so give you a little bit of reference for the protein count, but this will be for two of my lunches this week. The next thing I'm going to make are some teriyaki turkey burgers. I plan on having these in a lettuce wrap. Uh, so for the turkey burger itself, we're just going to need some ground turkey. This is 93% lean. I'm going to use, I'm going to make only three turkey burgers. I'll have it for lunch two days and then maybe for dinner another day, or I could do lunch for three days. So um, either one. The rest of this, since this is a larger pack, the ones from Costco, I'm going to make up some taco meat. Just so I always like to have that on hand for a really quick and easy dinner. Um, so I'm going to need some ground turkey one egg, some panko crumbs, and then some of the teriyaki sauce. So that'll be for the burgers themselves. I may chop up a little bit of pineapple and stick it in there um, as well. And then I'm gonna make like a little slaw. So I did see this on Pinterest, um, but I'm making it a lot simpler than that. Like it had a sauce and everything. I'm just using the teriyaki sauce. So for the slaw, we'll need some of this teriyaki sauce, some of the broccoli slaw, some pineapple, and then I'm gonna use, again, red onion, red bell pepper and the yellow bell pepper. We're gonna use that for the slaw. And then again, like I said, I'm just gonna have this in a lettuce wrap probably with some cheese on top and then a little bit of the slaw in that lettuce wrap. So you can check out my what I eat in a week video that I post on Thursdays or Fridays and you'll see how all these meals come together. So let's go ahead and put together the turkey burgers and I think I'm gonna cook these in the oven. I was gonna do the air fryer, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the oven for them so that way I can just get them all done at once. And I did use my scale to weigh out 12 ounces of there of this. So I'll use each one will be four ounces for the burgers. And I think I'm gonna do them in the air fryer. I just like them better in the air fryer. So I think I am. So for the turkey burgers, I ended up adding in some chopped up pineapple, a tablespoon of the teriyaki sauce, which we'll put more on the outside an eighth of a cup of the panko breadcrumbs and then one egg. So I'm gonna mix this up and then, like I said, I'll put more of the teriyaki sauce on the outside before we put them in the air fryer. Okay, I changed my mind again. We're gonna do these in the oven. I can only fit up maybe two of these, maybe, without crowding my air fryer, so I decided just to do in the oven, so it frees me up to finish the rest of the prep. So this will go into 375 for about, we'll check them about 15 minutes, but I think they're gonna take probably up to about 25 because they're a little bit thicker. Um, so I'll just keep checking with my thermometer if they're done or not. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in and then we'll go ahead and make the pineapple slaw. I put our slaw together so I have the broccoli slaw in here and then I grilled this pineapple in the air fryer. I just did it at 400 for about 10 minutes total and just kind of kept tossing it. So you can see it has like kind of those nice like grilled look to it. I just thought that would be better in the slaw. Then I have some yellow pepper, red pepper, and red onion. So I'm just gonna toss all that in this bowl, add a little bit of teriyaki sauce, and that'll be a nice little topper for my turkey burgers. So here is our slaw. So this is a, this, these two meals are a really good example of how you can buy some of the same ingredients if you're a person who doesn't like to eat the same thing every single day. So I used up that whole bag of slaw between two different meals. They're different meals, but they're similar enough to use the same ingredients. I used that whole can of pineapple. I used the pretty much the remaining that I had left of this in the refrigerator, uh, bell peppers, all of that stuff. So it's really nice. Like I said, there's some people don't like to eat the same thing every day. So this kind of breaks it up. It's similar, but a different enough to feel like you're eating a different meal. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and then I'll show you the turkey burgers when they come out. And here are our turkey burgers. So they are all done. And what I will do, like I said, is I'll have these on a lettuce wrap. I'll add a little bit of cheese, put them under the broiler to melt the cheese, add some of the slaw on top. These are also would be good, like cut up into a salad and you can even throw some of the slaw in the salad, add a little bit more like teriyaki sauce or even some of like the Asian ginger dressing from Newman's Own. That's probably one of the meals I'll do one day this week. But yep, here they go. And I will have um, a recipe link down below for both of these that I kind of based this off of slightly. But if you want a full recipe, then you can see that one link down below. Curious what this looks like. It does have actual like peas, like dried peas and 
what I think is probably red bell pepper in it. So I put, so if you're gonna just use this individually, I just recommend you shaking it up really well so you can make sure you get a little bit, but I just used, I don't know, probably about three quarters of the package. And then I'll just stir this up and taste it because if you use too much, it can taste a little salty. So um, I'm sure there's probably a lot of sodium in this. Not too bad. But we'll just mix that up and then just give it a taste and then I'll know if I need more or not. Alrighty, nope, I didn't have to add any more. That was just perfect. So I have a little bit left to use it another time. I'm also going to prep a couple of dinners. So I'm gonna do some grilled chicken and then I also have some chicken drumsticks here. So I'm gonna use these marinades. I have the smoky apple wood that I think I'm gonna use with the drumsticks. And then I have the mesquite marinade that I'll use with the chicken breast. Now to make these, I believe it calls for a quarter cup of oil if I'm reading that right, but I just usually do a couple tablespoons and the rest water. I feel like it's strong enough flavor. You don't really need that much oil. So I believe they're probably both the same. Yeah. This one actually calls also for cider vinegar. So I'll grab some of that out and add that in there too. So I'm just gonna put it in some Ziploc bags and then put them in the refrigerator so they're ready just to throw in the air fryer or oven when I get home from work for dinner. And if for some reason I end up not having one of these, I can just toss them right in the freezer because they're already in freezer bags. Before I'm doing these, I just use one of my big, big Pyrex measuring cups to put my um, bag in, but they do have some, if you make a lot of freezer meals, I've seen people use um, these containers or these like tall things that you clip the bags to and it holds them. Um, so if you're somebody who makes a lot of freezer meals, then that may be something that would work better for you. But since I don't make a lot of them anymore, I probably don't really need to get one of those. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the um, drumsticks. So I have I pulled out my apple cider vinegar. So I'm just going to use two tablespoons of this. I'll use two tablespoons of avocado oil and then just put the chicken in and the marinade mix. And here we go. So we have our chicken drumstick sticks with the smoky apple wood and the chicken breast with the mesquite. I've never had the smoky apple wood, but the mesquite I can tell you is really good. Next up, I'm gonna clean up some fruit, slice up some veggies for the dips. I have some carrots here, cucumber, and the bell peppers for the dip. We have some green onion I like to toss in salad. Normally I do this first thing in meal prep and I do suggest that, except for I still had this leftover from last week. So I wanna, went ahead, went, used this up first and I'm just gonna change it out and um, put the stuff on top and put the new stuff in there. So since I already had some leftover to use, I didn't do this first because I wanted to make sure I used the older stuff first. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up and I'll show you what I'd like to start with for the beginning of the week. Okay, so I have all of my fruit and vegetables ready. So we have our grapes here, the whole two pound of thing of strawberries, all washed and cut up. And we have our cucumbers and carrots, our green onion. And then I replenished my um, bell pepper and I didn't have any more red onion, so I just have that little bit. So here are all my veggies. And it's nice having them ready to grab and go for quick, easy, healthy snacks. Okay, let's do a little recap of our entire meal prep this week. So here we have again our turkey burgers with our grilled pineapple slaw. We have our teriyaki rice bowls. And then my two things for dinner prep, which are the chicken legs with the applewood marinade mix. And then we have our chicken breast with the mesquite. We have some vegetable dip here. And then we have our fruits and veggies. I will have um, points, calories, and protein here on the screen. Actually, I probably will do that previously when I show you the meals. I'll just do them individually over there instead of putting them here at the end. But I will have any recipes linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.